Hello YouTube, welcome to another unboxing. Today it's going to be the Dell U2112HM. This is a 21.5 IPS panel from Dell. So without further ado, let's open her up. Okay, so in the top of the box we are presented with some paperwork, we'll have a look at that in a minute. The base, so we'll get them out first. Here we have the base. Obviously this is the part that connects to the back of the monitor. And then we've got the actual foot which swivels. It's got a little hole for some cable management. And then the actual plate that connects to the back should move up and down. Obviously height's adjustable. And I think it does rotate as well, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So that's the first part. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. Next of all, we've got some cables. We've got a USB A to USB ca cable, and that connects from the computer to the monitor because the monitor does have a built-in 4-port USB 2.0 hub. Next of all, a VGA to VGA cable. And a DVI to DVI cable. And here comes the fun part where I have to turn the box upside down to get the panel out. Also included is the manuals and the uh, CD or DVD for installing drivers if you should need them. We have power cable, IEC or kettle lead, whichever you prefer to call it. And also included is a European mains adapter as well. Not that we'll ever use that. Polystyrene back in the box. There we go, there's the actual main panel itself. I'll leave the protective covering on for the moment until I've got it on the stand. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll mount the stand onto the back of the panel. That's just a simple case of slotting the two little tabs in the top. 
pressing down, two clicks, and that's securely in. And there we go. There you have it. And we'll just check check the connectivity as well. There we have the uh, the mains input. Next along, I'm not sure if you can quite see it. There is a DC out that's where you connect uh, an additional soundbar to the bottom of the monitor, which is a, a separate item. We have a display port in, a DVI port, a VGA, then we have the USB in, which then comes back out to two ports there. And then again on the side, another two ports. So that's your four port hub. And now let's take this protective sheet off the front. And then we have a nice matte display, not too overly reflective. It doesn't show up that great on the uh, camera, the non-reflective coating, because it is pointing straight up. But there we go. There we have it. So next of all, I'll get it plugged in and connected up to the Mac, and we'll carry on from there. Okay, so now we can see the monitor is connected to the iMac and powered on. It's set up as a secondary display. A couple of points I'd like to show you is, first of all, it's exactly the same size panel. It's also an IPS panel, so the colour grade matches quite well. And also, because it's height adjustable, the desktop is extremely fluid straight across from one screen to the other so there's no stepping up or down from screen to screen when I move the uh, mouse or a window across. So if I just show you the height adjustment it will literally just push down quite gently just below the level of the chin of the uh, iMac itself and comes all the way up and then if I just move it over slightly it will rotate all the way around 90 degrees like so and then obviously just using um, system preferences through the display we can, I'll have to do this sideways, change that to 90 degrees yes we'd like to keep that setting and there we go, that's done. So now, for example, what I could do is, using the Safari browser, use that as a complete long web browser, and then obviously still use the iMac screen for whatever I'm working on. So that would be great if you wanted to have a constant Facebook or Twitter iMessage feed or anything else that you use that's along those lines. Myself, personally, I think it's a fantastic addition to the 21 and a half inch iMac, whichever model you've got, but I can't praise it enough, to be honest. I think it's brilliant. So thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you again in a future video.